everybody and welcome to today's video we are going to be doing my unboxing for my boxycharm base box um i did not feel like putting makeup on we are just you know chilling chatting drinking some coffee but first and foremost i want to thank each and every single one of you all who reached out to make sure that my family was safe um as we know or you may not know with December 11th, a uh, horrific tornado came through uh, the state of Kentucky and actually hit multiple states. Um, but south of me, western Kentucky, was completely devastated. So thank you all for reaching out and checking on us. Please pray for all of those who have been affected. I know I've kind of been off the internet um, the past few days. Just you know with everything going on it's just very heavy on my heart with everything that is going on right now so um please stay tuned because i do plan on uh putting up a video um talking more about it and everything and how we can help and everything so anyways if i don't seem as uh, peppy well that's why <laughs> so but i did want to get my unboxing for you all i also have my ipsy glam bag is here um the plus hasn't arrived yet um but i will get that up as soon as i can and like i said please subscribe and stay tuned because i am in the process of um getting things together for uh kentucky so anyways let's go ahead and jump on it Okay, so I don't have my mail scale sitting here and I am using the light of my phone to be able to film because of the backlighting. So, um, I don't know the actual weight of the box, but I do know what I chose. Now, this box did go up to $27.99 and this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm really not in the mood to complain, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, let's start off. The, you always get a little postcard in here and it does tell you the items that are in the box, the retail value of the box and everything. So the first item I'm going to show you all um, was a choice item. This is the Algenist. Let's see. Hopefully my camera will... Uh, yeah uh this is the algenist eye renewal cream now i actually did receive this in pr and i have been using it and man it has been amazing on my under eyes y'all like it's still early in the morning when i'm filming y'all like so i haven't like put my skincare on for today yet but i have been using this and i have noticed a difference specifically like it says within 10 days you're gonna notice uh what what did it say it says, clinically shown to help reduce dark under eye circles, bags, puffiness, lines, wrinkles, and crow's feet in just 10 days. I don't know if I'd necessarily notice that. However, I do notice the hydration with this and I'm in love. Now, I did take a picture day one of when I started using this. I have literally nothing on my face right now, y'all. Like, this is it. I would say when I do have it on, there may be a little bit more brightness to my skin, but the hydration under my eyes has been absolutely amazing. And my big thing is, y'all know I do use a lot of retinoids, retinase, tretinoids, all of that stuff. So I do sometimes have some flaking, which you may see through here. I didn't even brush my lashes today. So I don't want to hear about it. I know there's going to be one person in the comment section. I'm like, seriously, just stop. Anyways, this does have a retail value of $68. And this stuff is amazing. So to me, $27.99, 100% worth it. Next in here is the Araceli Beauty Sponges. Now, I also received these in PR, and I actually really like them. I have used them wet and dry. I have kind of leaned more into doing um, dry beauty blenders for whatever reason. I don't know, for fuller coverage when I'm putting my makeup on. Uh, I actually like them. I feel like they're very similar to a beauty blender. They're beauty sponges, sorry. 
but it does remind me of a beauty blender these actually have a retail value of $24 and it does say it'll be a seamless smooth blend and it is a super soft sponge I'm not gonna open this pack up because I did open the other one and you're supposed to keep them sealed until you're ready to use them Oh, the next item in here is by Seraphine Botanicals. This is a Happy Hibiscus palette. I was actually pretty curious about this after we received the Seraphine Botanicals um, cream blushers in a previous box. So this has a retail value of $48. Dang on. That is pretty awesome. Let's see what she looks like. I have received a palette from them in the past from one of my ipsy bags and i didn't like it um oh this is definitely darker than i expected so here's what it looks like it says it's an incredibly soft blendable luminizer and blush palette it gives you instant color payoff and glides on seamlessly to deliver a healthy lit from within a flush of color formulated with hibiscus extract to encourage a fresher more radiant complexion and cornstarch and kale kaolin Play for a silkier transition long-lasting wear even on oily skin and if you don't know sorry I know my lighting is wonky but it is what it is uh, if you don't know seraphine botanicals is cruelty free and it is also vegan so and it does have a 12 month shelf life so it's a really pretty palette and I think in my head for some reason I was thinking it was gonna be all highlighters but um, I honestly think I'm a little worried it's going to be a little too dark so i may just go ahead and gift this i know that they say blush toppers but i love the color of this blush i absolutely love the color of the blush but i'm probably just going to go ahead and gift this because i have fallen in love with with my ofra uh blush palette and then there was another one that came with some highlighters i'm just i don't know so i feel like and then I have my Blink palette, so I, I'm gonna just go ahead and gift it. Oh, next in here we have the Vanilla Bean Lip Mask, and this is from Wish. Um, I think I got this already, and I do believe I did dig into that one, so I won't dig into this one, but I did like it. Uh, it's in my beauty room, which I haven't really been in my beauty room. Like I said, I've just kind of been in like, meh. We've got some personal family things going on right now too, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah so I just haven't been in the mood to sit down and play in makeup if I start crying I am so sorry there is just a lot going on here in Kentucky so anyways this when I did dig into the PR one I actually really did like it uh, this has a retail value of $32 what I do remember about this one is at first it kind of reminded me of the Laneige mask but it is a little bit thinner of a consistency where the Laneige is more of like a thick like aqua four but i did like it okay and i told you all the retail pack. i'm a little scatterbrained today uh last is by mellow cosmetics it is the gel lip pencil with a retail value of 15 dollars oh that's pretty orange is it that orange uh oh oh no oh found it okay it broke <laughs> um i'm not gonna swatch that i'll just swatch the broken piece thank god i found it oh yeah that is just way too orange for me i cannot um okay so i'm not gonna mess with this this one i'm just dropping it everywhere it's uh i think it'll be pretty for someone but not this someone I feel like this kind of color, you have to be careful because it'll make your teeth uh, look yellow. <laughs> so that's not my journey. Uh, this does have a retail value of $15. So let me go ahead and actually I can't total it up for y'all because again I'm using the light of my phone. So fast math. Ooh, what is that? One, one, hold on. 116, 678. Okay, you know what? It's well over the $125 that they, they tell us it's going to be. So I'm going to tell you all my thoughts on it. So, 
like I told you all, this Al Algenist eye cream, I have been absolutely loving. I have at least used it once a day. You should use it twice a day to see the full results and the full benefits. Um, but at least once a day, it has multiple peptides in here. And like I told you all, I actually really love it. I have applied makeup on top of it and it plays really nicely with my makeup which is really important for me because there's some eye creams that I'll use and it starts to peel up and everything and just look wonky and crusty and just it's a no this does not do that so I absolutely love it this unfortunately I wanted but I think it's just gonna be too dark for me so I'm gonna pass it along uh, the lip masks I I love getting these types of things I don't think it has a little spoon in it yeah no there's no spoon in it which I do wish it did have um, but it does the job as far as that goes and I do like these sponges now let's be honest um, is this my favorite base box ever no but the way I'm kind of looking at it is if I had picked this up at Drop Shop, I definitely would have paid the $27.99 plus Tyx. And getting the other items in my box was kind of a bonus. So I'm going to gift and donate and everything with this. So anyways, um, that is everything in my box. Again, I really was hoping, in all honesty, I was kind of hoping that BoxyCharm would like like they've done in the years past, when it comes to December, they kind of go out with a bang, which always has me so excited because then for January, I feel like the boxes, you know, come in with a bang, like start the new year with a bang. So I don't know really what's going on with Boxy. I'm a little bummed um, as far as that goes. Again, I will use and donate and give um, a majority of this box away. But I really wish that Boxy would have done like they had done in years past. And I know that some of you all had said the same thing when it came to my PR unboxing. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Normally they end the year with a bang. What happened? I don't know what happened. So, but I will be back to go over some brands that we are, it sounds like has been confirmed. Charlotte Tilbury for 2022, which has me very, very excited. I have started listing items over on my Poshmark for you all. I will try and link my Poshmark below. I'm still not sure how to do that, but um, I think it's like Rhonda Hot Mess. If you look for me or Rhonda at six, Rhonda 6878 that you'll find me on Poshmark. I'm on my other channel, kinda didn't upload over there. <laughs> like I said, it, it, there's been a lot going on. So anyways, friends, uh, I hope you are well. I know I have a lot of y'all that watch me that are in Kentucky and I've talked to some of y'all and my heart goes out to everybody that has been affected. Mm, I'm gonna hop off for now. I'm gonna go ahead and film my Ipsy and until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Kisses from Kentucky.